Check this out. More Starbucks locations will be uh, offering curbside pickup. With the pandemic going on, many Starbucks dining rooms closed, drive through mobile pickup only, and curbside pickup will be the way to enjoy your most expensive coffees and treats. Yes. Uh, more than 400 Starbucks locations will close permanently due to restructuring plans because of this virus. That's a big deal. Yeah, restructuring Have you plans. ever heard of a Starbucks closing? No. I've seen a move. I've seen a move across the street. Right. You know, to a better venue, a better place. But I've never seen them really close. No, if one has to actually close, you got big problems. Here's a, a little bit of good news. The pumpkin spice will return this fall. Well, we got that. That's uh, that's a good thing, man. We, you gotta got to have that. that. Yeah. Uh, but they're trying to make a push for more drive through and mobile pickup. They don't want you inside. I don't think they've thought this. We talked about this earlier. Yeah. I don't think they do a very good job of uh, mobile pickup or drive through. I I uh, I've been through a, a drive through of a Starbucks one time, and my experience was okay. But of course, you got people that depend on it. Probably in some cases, a couple of times a day. Um, and I'm kind of surprised that they're they're behind the curve on this because it is all about the drive through right now. They're a big fat company, man. Yeah, it's kind of harder for those smaller, those bigger ones to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we t- said earlier, uh, Chick Fil A does the drive through better than anybody. Oh yeah, yeah. Chick Fil A, uh, P. Terry's locally, they do an amazing job with their their drive through. Sure. And and they're they're obviously doing gangbusters. Uh, so you know, I I really applaud a lot of uh, restaurants and, and companies like this that have adapted pretty well. And, and believe me, some some of these restaurants were so far from being set up to accommodate, uh, uh, you know, to-go business or curbside that it just wasn't really a part of the thing. And a lot of them just rose to the occasion, and it's really helped them survive yeah. and, and obviously helped individuals survive as well. Um, and then some, it was just... An absolute impossibility because of all kinds of factors. Access, parking, uh, uh, the type of food that they sell that just doesn't transport well. Sure. You know, it's just not meant for to-go uh, gourmet foods, things like that. So, yeah. Anyway. There you go. Uh, I, I'm sure that Starbucks will figure it out, but it's kind of interesting that you would think that they would have been kind of the leader uh, in this, given I think the size too, of the company. I think they were too big to be a leader. Maybe. Just, just, just too big, too big. Yeah. Closing 400 stores, though. Yeah, I think that's I uh, that says a lot. Mm-hmm.